Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're going having some party games, but on a budget. We can't afford Mario Party, not in this economy. Mom, can we get Mario Party? We have Mario Party at home and then Mario Party at home. Ah, brings me back to my childhood. I don't like Mega Bloks, I like Lego. Sorry, got a bit serious there for a second. <laughs> it just kind of came out. I might need therapy. God, I had a rough childhood. Mega blocks. <laughs> but I had no idea this game existed, to be honest. But when I saw Shrek, I kinda had to go to it. My my love of Shrek versus my hatred of parties and any social event kind of was in a battle, but you know Shrek is always gonna win, so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play some Shrek party games, and uh, you know, as I always say, I, I didn't have anyone to actually have a party, so it was kind of a surprise party for one, but... <laughs> It should still be fun, so um, thank you for coming and uh, paying lip service to my party. Uh, you can go if you want now, but I, I hope you stick around. Uh, we're gonna jump in and see what this game is all about. <laughs> oh, why does anyone watch me? Ready? No, but let's go anyway. <laughs> all right, what should I do here? I'm thinking a tournament. I think I want to be Lord Farquaad. I always felt a special connection to him. Wait, they didn't even include Shrek. They gave us the Executioner and Robin Hood, but not Shrek. Can I go back? I don't want to play with these losers. No, stop giving me these people. Give me main characters. Okay, at least I've got Shrek and Princess Piona. Piona? <laughs> okay, yeah, this game isn't licensed. This is Princess Piona and Shrunk. Why does Lord Farquaad look that angry to be here? <laughs> He looks like he's coming up with a scheme and Shrek is just oblivious. Bug catcher! Okay, run around to collect the most- Oh my god, there's bugs crawling on the screen. I don't like this. Collect the most matching bugs to start the- Get out of the way. <laughs> you can collect five bugs total. Lowest value extras are discarded. I don't understand what they mean at all. Go! Okay, I got blue. I what? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is not clear at all. <laughs> We're all dying pretty much, except for Piona over there. What? What? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. We're all winners, except for Piona down there. We don't even say she's second. You are last. Everyone else are winners. Damn you, patriarchy. <laughs> He's evil. But in a fun way. Yeah, that sums me up perfectly. This is why we have a connection. Select the realm you want to explore and collect its precious drops. I'm not reading because I'm not going to understand it anyway. We're going to the swamp. That's where Smash Mouth hang out, I think. Lord Farquaad moves five. Where is the board? I don't know what's happening. Lord Farquaad looks like a daring duel. Okay, who do I want to dare to duel? I think I want to go with Piona. Wait, I thought I was just going against Piona. Why are you all here? What? <laughs> is this game going to be exclusively about bugs? Why are you spinning? They're, why are the bots so good? Shrek is 230. <laughs> New high score. I am not putting my name into this game. Feck it is. I'm done. I see everyone else felt the same. No one was willing to put their name in. Congratulations, Princess Fiona. Wait, why Princess Fiona? I don't understand. What was the point in Shrek and... Sorry, not Robin Hood. Manchur Hood. <laughs> what was the point in them playing if it was just me versus Fiona? Okay, she's swapping bugs with me now? What? Match the best bugs. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Miss your Hood. Looks like a daring duel. Oh, Monsieur Hood is challenging me now, so. I match the colored gems. Okay, it's not about bugs at least. This should be easy enough, right? Go! Wait, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What what do I do? He didn't explain it at all. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it now. Now I understand. You get you mark one and then you go find what it matches to. Yes, I'm matching it to this. Come on, match. There you go. No, stop, Shrek, it's mine. Jesus Christ, they're annoying. <laughs> Congratulations, Lord Farquaad. I beat the hood man. Okay, great. I don't know why the others were there. Okay, now I get to swap three bugs, but I don't know why. These have a one on them, so I'm gonna swap that for his five. <laughs> Is that good? I don't know. Beauty, brains, and brawn. Thank you very much. Fiona! Oh, talking about her. God damn it. The only brawn she has is in that massive head of hers. Look at it. It's fucking huge. It's time for an epic battle. Who are you gonna fight? It's gonna be me, isn't it? They keep picking on me. Oh, wait, no, it's everyone. Great. Pick up the rats and throw them into the sewer. What? What the? How do they make the minigame so damn awful? I don't think I can make minigames this bad if I tried. What were they thinking? Just rip off Mario. No one cares. 
Oh my god, I cannot fucking get them into the well. Why are we even drowning rats anyway? I'm just blocking Shrek from throwing them in. Just getting hit repeatedly with rats. I'm just annoyed that the bots seem to be able to do everything and I can't do anything. Look at them, they're getting every single one. Just blocking them. <laughs> I'll get hit in the head with a rat. That'll show them. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> I like swapping bugs around and then they, they become scores. I don't understand. See, at least like his head is big, but there's some proportion there. <laughs> Piona looks like a bowling ball and a toothpick. It's setting unrealistic standards, I'm telling you. This is where the problem is. Look out, Lord Farquaad. No, don't do something bad. He's innocent. He's just a little innocent child. <laughs> okay, that tree just tried to kill me. Lord Farquaad. It's time for an epic battle. All right, I'm fighting the Robin Hood Walmart brand because he seems a lot worse than the rest. Okay, water does not work like this. I don't even know what the controls are. I'm just kind of mashing all the buttons and it seems to be kind of working. I actually have high hopes for this. God, I'm so good at driving boats and Shrek summer party or whatever the hell it is. What is it? Slam party? Shrek slam poetry. That was it. Lord Farquaad places first. Uh, you didn't sound so happy about that. When they were first, you did a huge like, Oh, Princess Fiona, Victor. And then with me, you're like, ah, whatever. Lord Farquaad first. Swap three bugs. Now we're talking. I'm going to match all five of mine. There you go. Done. That should put me in the lead, surely. Congratulations, Miss Hood. How is he still winning? He's doing terrible. I don't understand the scoring system. Uh-oh, Miss Hood. Off to the evil bog. Oh, no. Who knows what that does? <laughs> <laughs> Just sings through the floor. What? Okay. <laughs> they just left him in the bog. <laughs> Your turn, Shrek. He's got to barely do anything, and the game is feckin' named after him. Shrek Slam Poetry. Scooter Scramble. Oh, this should be good. And it actually gives you the controls. Press X to accelerate and circle to break. That should be easy. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> Christ almighty. This is where they stole the idea for Temple Run for, by the way. The scoring system is so weird. It's not like a race. You just get points for the amount of time you're traveling. Like, why couldn't they just make it a race? I don't understand. Uh, you know what they say, only shooting stars break the mold, and I guess that's what they were going for. I don't understand how the mini games are so bad when they didn't even try to like tie them into the movie. Like, they had no limit with what they could do here. <laughs> Just copy good games. Wait, I get to swap three bugs? Like, get rid of this bad boy anyway. Like, what? I don't understand. Should I just take the fives? Is that what we're saying here? And I think they have to match them, so I guess I'm better off giving her ones that don't match, right? So is that good? Did, is that good? I think I did good. <laughs> the most confusing scoring system ever. <laughs> I can just imagine them sitting there. It's like, no, we're not just gonna make a mini game. We're gonna revolutionize the genre. <laughs> we're gonna change everything. <laughs> From now on, every party game will be scored by bugs being transferred between players. <laughs> drop the ball, Lord Barquad. Oh yeah, they dropped the ball, all right, that's for sure. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm even moving towards. Like, none of us are on the same board, so I don't get it. Sticky tongues. The fireflies will give you temporary indigestion. That's the only part of that I need to read. Let's go. Wait, how is he up to a hundred and something already. What is going on? I am on 12. Okay, I got feckin' shrekt in that one. I got destroyed. <laughs> That's the thing of nightmares. <laughs> Seeing him approach from the distance around the corner. I'm gonna have nightmares about this game. Okay, this is just docking and dodging. This should be easy. At least I'll understand it. What? Okay, I won't understand it. I jumped over those and it did nothing. What? Jesus Christ, what is wrong with my guy? I think I have a height disadvantage or something. Yeah, I was feckin- okay, okay, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, dude, stop. This is stressing me out. Like, they haven't fallen, like, once. And what is the feckin' scoring system? <laughs> Lord Farquaad's up there just getting fucking brain damage and they're getting up to like 400 points. Yeah, I didn't understand that at all. <laughs> Look at them, they tied because neither of them fell over for the entire game. I have no idea how I'm still in second, to be honest. I think the bots are insane in the actual minigames and then they just don't take your bugs or something. I don't know because I don't really know how the scoring is working. Maybe they don't understand it either. The actual code in the game doesn't know what's going on. Lord Farquaad moves nine. Okay, I'm sorted now. Where is he going? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Didn't realize Shrek's little outhouse there was connected to the sewage system. That's very responsible. Lord Farquaad, it's... Okay. <laughs> I was just kind of staring at him awkwardly. Oh, chick magnet. Anyone who plays this game is guaranteed a chick magnet. I'm telling you that much. My phone is blowing up right now. <laughs> if you want to make a Tinder profile, just have a picture of you 
an over-the-shoulder shot playing this game and just put the title of the game Shrek Slam Poetry in there and you will get infinite matches. Go! It feels like every second minigame is just collecting stuff. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is wrong with these eggs? Do they come out hard-boiled? Because <laughs> they're just not smashing. <laughs> I honestly don't know which is better. Their original attempts at minigames, which make no feckin' sense, <laughs> or them just saying, let's just do another collecting minigame. <laughs> Even the sound is so annoying. <laughs> the whole game is torture. Uh, you bitch! <laughs> She's taking them all! That's not fair! I hate Fiona. Yeah, it seems like you need two. If you've matching bugs, then they're taken away and in turned into points somehow. Now I completely understand this game. <laughs> Can you tell I'm lying? All the valuable information in my head that's being replaced by this stupid game's rules. Ready? No. What are we doing? <laughs> I couldn't even read it. I don't want to replace any more information. I've already forgotten how to drive and replaced it with the bug rules of this game. Okay, this game, easy. Well, not easy. Easy, but at least it actually makes sense. <laughs> oh, feck. I just jumped right into the lava. I think that was my character of his own free will. He just wants out. I can see why Lord Farquaad was so evil if he had to go through this crap. <laughs> like, I already want to nuke the kingdom. He wasn't even that bad. Okay, my go. Swap three. So because I'm first, do I get to go last? And I get to pick and choose what I want because I can stop them from getting any sets. There we go. Now they get, like, nothing. Is that how it works? I figured it out. Congratulations, Lord Farquaad. Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm the only person to ever actually try and figure this game out. It's probably just like kids that played it other than me. Squash the knights into the mud by rolling over them. I don't even know when this game feckin' ends. Like, I don't know what the goal is. I mean, the real goal is just to have fun and uh, by God, are we not doing it? Imagine being lines of code and you're a knight in a mini game on Shrek Slam Poetry getting slammed by Lord Farquaad on a barrel. You could have been anything. You could have been a revolution in technology, but no, your sole purpose is to get squished in Shrek slam poetry. I can only swap one bug. For feck's sake. Or, sorry. For Shrek's sake. I'm gonna take it from Shrek. He's just gonna take it back from me again because he's a dick. Look at this. He's an absolute joke. The game's already named after you, you selfish bastard. All right, Shrek Super Party. How to win. It was the last Shrek game to be published by TDK Me Mediactive. How did they lose the license? They did so good. Oh my god, even the explanation of how the scoring works is so fecked. Even when you read it, Shrek Super Party is a bug matching game. Success is dependent on a player's knowledge of bugs. <laughs> it doesn't say how you win, though. Go. Oh god, Itchy knows. Itchy knows. Itchy knows. What the hell is going on? How are you supposed to dodge that? Honestly, I'm just walking forward and spamming A. That is all I'm doing. What? in God's name is going on. You've lost me again. I mean, not that you ever had me. There's moments where I think I know what's going on, but they are short-lived. The important thing is I'm still winning, even though I have no idea what's going on. Like, I'm thinking it's first to 500, because our little vials there are filling up, and that's what it looks like, but it's never been mentioned how you win. I think half the game is trying to figure out, like, how the game even works. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. I always cry over spilled milk. I'm just gonna bully the girl. Farquaad has a crush on Fiona. This is how boys work. Christ almighty, there's just milk everywhere. Yeah, does hitting myself get me any points? Because I'm really good at that, apparently. Okay, food fling. Launch the food across the valley onto the target. Press X to stop the ballista. Hold to increase power, then release to launch. Bigger is better. Point-wise and accuracy counts. I don't understand. Like some sort of visual representation of the minigame would go a long way. Ready? No, what? What is this? What? What? Huh? I don't understand. It's, is it only the same colors? Please explain this. Okay, I understand it now, but it's a bit too late. Like, it didn't explain it to me. Congratulations, Shrek. Yeah, congratulations, Shrek. You came second. I don't, I don't know why you're congratulating him. God, the animals are going nuts. Well, to be fair, I would too if I saw this approaching the farm. Off to the evil bog. Wait, why are you sending me to the evil bog? All right, goodbye. <laughs> Look at him. You just picked up some precious drops for your trouble. Wait, I'm in second now all of a sudden because the game just decided here I have 65 points to the guy in last. Wait, Peona has challenged me. So can I just bully her? Like, why wouldn't I just stay hitting her? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep hitting her. I don't think the other scores really matter right now. <laughs> just keep hitting her repeatedly. Swap three bugs. I should be able to win this now, shouldn't I? Look at this. Look at how many points. I'm really good with bug knowledge. 507. Did I win? I've done it! <laughs> oh, I'm not even happy that I've won. I'm just happy it's over. Oh, yes, we get a little sin cinematic now. I hope the entire Shrek 2 movie plays. Ah, yes. Poisoning the well. Fantastic. We just threw like 600 dead bugs into the well. Lord Farquaad's wish was granted. He can't even fit it on his own head. And he...
lived happily ever after. That's the true ending to Shrek 1. Lord Farquaad lives happily ever after playing mini games that make no sense. Wow, that was... A game? <laughs> I know it's not meant to be this way, but as you go, there's just more and more question marks just from errors. <laughs> so it's like the 30 plus mini games include challenges ranging from outrunning the dangerous dragon? Breath? <laughs> That's pretty much how I play the game. IGN gave it a 3. Is, in a word, terrible. <laughs> Unfortunately, reviews are required to be more than a word long. <laughs> Verdict, do not pass go, head directly to jail. It's bad, boring, and also bad. God, they really offended this guy. He must have been a big Shrek fan. Oh, I think he is. He's like, if you love Shrek, spare yourself this pain and avert your eyes from this sin. <laughs> God, those are heavy words. Well, I think I'd have to agree for the most part. <laughs> Honestly, that was... Awful, but I had a blast. I hope you did too. Wow, I've learned so much about bugs. As we all know, Shrek Slam Poetry is a bug matching game and success is dependent on a player's knowledge of bugs. I have no idea where they got that from. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna end it there. I hope you enjoyed. Maybe next time you can join the party and come play with me and we'll all be equally confused together. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it there. Hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.